This has been the craziest day. I'm sitting down, too tired. But we're fishing fabs. Also, you are not going to believe this boat. We call her Cresty, the White Castle, but it's insane. Dude, that's a big brown bro. Hey guys, we have taken a break from making videos for a bit. But uh, we wanted to show you around uh, the thing that's been keeping us busy the last couple months. We got a new boat. The bass boat was just not too big, or not big enough. We're just too big. And uh, so we upgraded to something a little longer and bigger and floatier. Okay, you gotta check this out. I have the old man chair up here just because I got tired. And uh, we went with the Garmin Force trolling motor this time. This trolling motor is crazy. I'm basically joystick driving it right now. But I've got spot lock turned on, or the anchor lock, I guess is what it's called. And regardless of whether the wind blows, it just keeps us right here. We can fish right away. The other crazy thing is this little guy right here. It's a Garmin Panoptic system. So you're going to see fish swim in and out of this. It's like an ultrasound in the water. We haven't really needed it today, but it's been fun to play with. But it has a bunch of cool modes. So you can go to... maps plus two graphs ultra high definition 2d anyway we mostly use the graphs just to tell water temperature and depth and stuff like that but it's a super super cool toy to have now we got to mention that it's got four rockford fosgate speakers and a ski pole and a windshield so you know as soon as i hit 43 i decided i definitely need a boat with a windshield so, and a chair and a chair so but holy crap, talk about an awesome boat. This is it. Shout out to Robertson's Marine. Chris, Rick, Sue, all the crew, they hooked us up. All right, so this is the living room. So it's kind of nice because you got a deck big enough for a chair if you want to, where you can stick it there and have a whole casting platform. 10 foot rod accommodations on the rod lockers. That was a big selling point. Because we've got 10 foot rods. You got the steering wheel. This one came with the steering wheel. And a little cooler underneath. And then all my crap strewn about. Which is nice that we can uh, move about and not have to all get up so Cheech can get up and get the trolling motor going. Um, so, also, this chair slides back and forth. I can fit under there. We got another Garmin unit here. Here's Curtis's favorite part. Boom. <laughs> Extra recliners. Or more casting space. Right. Also, the four-stroke Mercury 200XL. I think we hit 57 miles an hour with this. It gets up and goes. Yeah, so anyway, she's nice. You'll see it in a lot of videos, hopefully. All right, as we're taking a break from fishing, let's talk about what we're using here. I I think we both, you have your Helios? Yeah. H3. Rock in the six weights. This is a Orvis Hydros reel with a Orvis Helios 3 rod, 6 weight, 10 foot, with the Sage X 6 weight, 10 foot rod. And that back in there is a little Ross reel. We started the day with a midge tip. Surprise. And caught a few fish during the chronomids. Then we realized the fish were not as interested in chronomids. So we switched to, from the chronomid box, which is this over to our blobs and fabs on a parabolic scientific anglers <laughs> That's filled. The, this one almost can't be shown on camera this is uh, the magic so the fish have been going nuts over this these should be illegal but uh, they catch fish 
What was the what was the color? Uh, yellow starburst. Yellow starburst. Can you believe it? Um. And one nice thing about the boats is you can use the boat bags, and that way you can fit all your stuff in there. Reels. Um, we get asked how many reels or how many lines we have. Today I've got four, a floater, the midge tip, the parabolic, and I've got a hover, scientific English hover six weight in case it gets windy or I wanted to kind of fish shallower in the wind. We're here at this lake loaded with rainbows and some cutthroats and a few tigers. Uh, I've been catching a lot today. What else besides a lot of space where I can do my exercises? No, but this has uh, been a lot of fun getting to know the boat. Got some chronomids coughed up. And yeah, uh, I think that's about it on the techie nerd stuff. Let's catch some more fish. Cup holders. Dude, that's why we bought the boat. It has like seven cup holders. You ready? Punch it. Yo, Puncho. it up giving the boat to clean here's a shot from the outside it's a little bigger than our bass boat better for bigger water so it's been good we've had it out a couple times but it was the first time with all the electronics and trolling motor which worked out great we ended up uh, catching a lot of fish. I was too lazy to get the camera out. So maybe next time, but. No fish were even worth putting on camera. <laughs> Got a bunch of like. Bunch of tacos. 12 to 16 inch fish. Fab eaters. Nobody wants to see that. That fab was nuts. We just wanted to show off the boat. Yeah, it was also just take it out and get it figured out with all the new nerdy electronics. Um, but yeah, the uh, Parabolic Scientific Anglers line was the winner. I think we just used that in the midge tip. Lots of fish on the Fab. I caught a few on the Old Balanced Damsel. Uh, some chronomids in the morning. Little, uh, what was that, Mini Fritz Leech? Oh yeah, that one killed. That was a good one. Guess we're gonna have to bust out some more tutorials. But uh, anyway, at the end of the day, we might give boat rides out. Not to Kelly Barnes. Not to Kelly Barnes. <laughs> Kelly, you know, you have a seat. And that seat is right here. All right, next time we will get more footage of fish. This was more a just get it out, catch a bunch of fish, and then get the camera afterwards. If you have any questions, post them up in the comments later.